As we all saw at E3 2016 and with the free demo that Capcom released, Resident Evil 7 is very, very different in comparison to the previous Resident Evils, especially Resident Evil 5 and 6, which were, you know, if Resident Evil 5 was alright, Resident Evil 6 was an abomination. However, Capcom have now revealed that the game will not feature any quick time events, what we saw a lot of in Resident Evil 4. I didn't mind them in Resident Evil 4, I actually thought the ones in Resident Evil 4 were one of the best implementations of QTEs. They weren't obnoxious and they actually kind of contributed to the flow of the game. However, in an interview posted to the Capcom Unity blog, the Resident Evil 7 producer Masachika Kawata confirmed QTEs, or action events as they're called in Resident Evil games, will not be making an appearance in Resident Evil 7. And he said, quote, there'll be no quick time events in Resident Evil 7. I know there are lots of people who will be relieved to hear that. Now, as I just mentioned, Resident Evil 7 is a hard left turn from where we've been previously for the franchise. However, game director Koshi Nakanishi tried to basically reassure us that Capcom isn't throwing everything that fans love about Resident Evil out of the window. Which is definitely reassuring to hear. Of course, we've had previous comments about how they're still going to have combat and yada yada yada. We're not looking at an outlaw situation here, we've already heard. But what did Koshi have to say? Well, he said, quote, I've seen from initial reactions of what we put put out that people are getting the impression that we've taken Risen Evil and turned, it into some, and turned it into some sort of supernatural occult ghost story. I think you can look at the trailer or the demo and get that impression. But don't worry, we haven't just thrown out Resident Evil as it exists and turned it into a ghost story. It will all make sense in the end. I know it's frustrating holding back on what we can show fans, but this is really the best way to let you enjoy the game to the fullest when it finally comes out. We just have a trailer and a demo at the moment, but watch this space in the coming months and we'll hope you look forward to the game. We're doing our best to make the best game we can. Now, while it's reassuring to hear, you know, I didn't mind, as already said, the QTEs present in Resident Evil 4, they were actually really well implemented. The probably most egregious example of them in the game is the Krauser fight, but even that was still pretty awesome in its own way. But overall, the QTEs were actually fine in Resident Evil 4, but, you know, it's nice to know that it won't be in Resident Evil 7, because QTEs have definitely gotten a bad rap ever since Resident Evil 4 originally released. We've kind of had our feel with them, and of course, the industry has very much moved on, thank Christ, because... My god, there are a lot of games of awful QTEs. Yes, I'm looking at you, Prince of Persia. So, it's nice not only to know that the game won't have QTEs, but also to know that despite the fact that this game does look very, very different indeed, and I'm sure it is going to be a very big change in direction, it is still going to be Resident Evil at its core. Which I'm definitely relieved to hear, but I myself, I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 7, have been ever since the E3 reveal. It is pretty much what I asked for. I wasn't expecting the first person perspective, I'll give you that much, but it looks like survival horror, which Resident Evil used to be back in the day. It doesn't look like exactly the same as we saw before with the style that we had, but they seem convinced that it will still give us what we want as Resident Evil fans, so I guess we should have to wait and see until the game comes out. It's not really that long, January of 2017, and it sounds a long way away now, but you know that I know it'll be Christmas before we know it. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, I will see you next time.